In the vast expanse of the cosmos, we find ourselves on the cusp of a new era, the digital age. This era is characterized by the seamless integration of technology into every facet of our lives, transforming the way we communicate, work, and even think. Just as our ancestors explored uncharted territories, we now venture into the boundless realm of cyberspace. This new frontier is not limited by physical boundaries but is instead defined by the limitless possibilities of digital innovation and connectivity. This digital frontier, much like the physical world, presents both opportunities and challenges. The opportunities are vast, from the potential for unprecedented global collaboration to the creation of new industries and the democratization of information. Among these challenges lies the ever-present threat of cyber attacks where malicious actors seek to exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain. These cyber threats can disrupt economies, compromise personal data, and even threaten national security. It is within this context that the concept of hacking emerges. Hacking is often portrayed in a negative light, but it is a multifaceted practice that encompasses a wide range of activities, from malicious attacks to ethical problem solving. Often shrouded in mystery and misconception, hacking at its core is the art of problem solving and creative thinking applied to technology. It involves understanding systems deeply, identifying their weaknesses, and finding innovative ways to address those weaknesses. Hackers possess an unquenchable thirst for knowledge, a deep understanding of systems, and an unwavering determination to unravel their complexities. They are driven by curiosity and a desire to push the boundaries of what is possible with technology. While the term hacking has unfortunately become synonymous with malicious activities, it is crucial to recognize that there exists a vibrant community of ethical hackers who utilize their skills for good. These ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, work tirelessly to protect our digital infrastructure. These individuals, driven by a strong moral compass, dedicate their expertise to identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities, thereby safeguarding our digital world. They collaborate with organizations, governments, and individuals to ensure that our data and systems remain secure. In the subsequent sections, we will embark on a captivating journey into the world of hacking, exploring its fundamental principles, methodologies, and the profound impact it has on our interconnected lives. We will delve into the history of hacking, the evolution of cybersecurity, and the future of this ever-changing landscape. Join us as we uncover the hidden layers of the digital frontier and the heroes who protect it. Every skilled craftsperson relies on a set of specialized tools to ply their trade. Whether they are building a piece of furniture, crafting a delicate piece of jewelry, or constructing a towering skyscraper. These tools are not just instruments, they are extensions of the craftsperson's hands, enabling them to bring their vision to life with precision and skill. Ethical hackers are no exception to this rule. In the digital realm their tools are just as crucial if not more so, given the complexity and ever-evolving nature of cyberspace. Just as a carpenter wields a hammer and chisel, ethical hackers employ an array of software and hardware tools designed to probe, analyze, and ultimately fortify computer systems. These tools are their digital chisels and hammers, enabling them to carve through layers of code and uncover hidden vulnerabilities. These tools, often open source and readily available, serve as extensions of a hacker's ingenuity, enabling them to navigate the intricate labyrinth of cyberspace. The open source nature of many of these tools means that they are constantly being updated and improved by a global community of developers and security experts. Among the most essential tools in a hacker's arsenal is the network scanner, a versatile instrument used to identify active devices and open ports on a network. This tool is akin to a digital map, providing a detailed layout of the network's landscape. By meticulously scanning a target system, hackers gain valuable insights into its structure and potential vulnerabilities. This information is crucial for understanding how the network operates and where its weak points might be. The results of these scans can reveal a wealth of information, from the types of devices connected to the network to the specific services running on each device. This data allows ethical hackers to build a comprehensive picture of the network's security posture. Another indispensable tool is the Vulnerability Scanner, which automates the process of identifying known weaknesses in software and operating systems. This tool is like a digital detective, tirelessly searching for clues that could indicate a potential security breach. These scanners leverage vast databases of vulnerabilities, meticulously curated by security researchers and organizations worldwide. 
These databases are constantly updated with new vulnerabilities as they are discovered, ensuring that the scanners are always equipped with the latest information. By comparing a target system's configuration against these databases, ethical hackers can pinpoint potential security flaws that require immediate attention. This process is akin to a doctor diagnosing a patient by comparing their symptoms to a medical database. The ability to quickly and accurately identify vulnerabilities is crucial for maintaining the security of a system. Ethical hackers use this information to prioritize their efforts, focusing on the most critical issues first. In addition to these automated tools, ethical hackers often rely on their own programming skills and custom scripts to probe systems and exploit vulnerabilities. These custom scripts are like bespoke tools, crafted to meet the specific needs of a particular task. Programming languages such as Python, Ruby, and Perl provide hackers with the flexibility and power to develop tailored tools and exploit code. These languages are chosen for their versatility and ease of use, allowing hackers to quickly write and modify code as needed. It's important to note that the tools themselves are neither inherently good nor bad. They are simply instruments, and their impact depends entirely on how they are used. Just as a hammer can be used to build a house or cause destruction, hacking tools can be employed for both ethical and malicious purposes. The same tool that can protect a system from attack can also be used to compromise it. The true measure of a hacker lies not in the tools they use, but in the principles that guide their actions. Ethical hackers are driven by a commitment to improving security and protecting systems from harm. Their work is guided by a code of ethics that prioritizes the safety and privacy of others. Collaboration and continuous learning are also key aspects of an ethical hacker's toolkit. By working together and sharing knowledge, ethical hackers can stay ahead of emerging threats and develop more effective strategies for defending against attacks. Attending conferences, participating in workshops, and engaging with the broader cybersecurity community are all essential activities for ethical hackers. These opportunities allow them to stay informed about the latest developments in the field and to exchange ideas with their peers. Staying updated with the latest research and developments in cybersecurity is crucial for ethical hackers. This ongoing education ensures that they are always equipped with the most current knowledge and tools to protect systems effectively. Ultimately, the goal of an ethical hacker is to create a safer digital world. By using their skills and tools responsibly, they contribute to the overall security and stability of the digital landscape, making it a safer place for everyone. Before embarking on any journey, a wise traveler gathers information about their destination, studying maps, researching local customs, and identifying potential hazards. This preparation ensures that they are well-equipped to handle any challenges that may arise and can make the most of their adventure. Similarly, in the realm of ethical hacking, reconnaissance reigns supreme as the indispensable first step in assessing and mitigating security risks. Just as a traveler would not venture into unknown territory without a map, an ethical hacker must first understand the landscape of their target system. Reconnaissance, often abbreviated as recon, involves systematically gathering information about a target system or network. This process is akin to piecing together a puzzle, where each piece of information contributes to a clearer picture of the target's overall structure and vulnerabilities. This information can range from publicly available data, such as domain names, IP addresses and employee names, to more obscure details that require deeper investigation. The goal is to compile as much relevant data as possible to inform subsequent actions. To more sensitive details gleaned through social engineering or technical means. Social engineering, for instance, might involve tricking individuals into revealing confidential information, while technical methods could include scanning for open ports or vulnerabilities. Passive reconnaissance, as its name suggests, involves gathering information without directly interacting with the target system. This method is often preferred for its stealthiness, as it leaves no trace and minimizes the risk of detection. This can include scouring the internet for publicly available data such as company websites, social media profiles and online forums. By analyzing these sources, ethical hackers can uncover valuable insights into a company's operations, culture and potential weak points. By piecing together seemingly innocuous bits of information, ethical hackers can gain valuable insights into a target's infrastructure, employees, and security practices. This mosaic of data forms the basis for a more targeted and effective approach to security testing. 
Active reconnaissance on the other hand, involves directly interacting with the target system, albeit in a non-intrusive manner. This approach is more hands-on and can provide real-time data about the target's defenses and potential entry points. This can include techniques such as port scanning, which identifies open ports and services running on a system. Open ports can serve as gateways for potential attacks, making it crucial to identify and secure them. And banner grabbing, which retrieves information about the software and versions running on those services. Knowing the software versions can help ethical hackers identify known vulnerabilities and plan their next steps accordingly. Reconnaissance, while seemingly benign, forms the foundation upon which all subsequent hacking activities are built. Without a thorough understanding of the target, any attempts to test or breach its defenses would be akin to shooting in the dark. By meticulously gathering information about their target, ethical hackers gain a comprehensive understanding of its attack surface, enabling them to tailor their approach and maximize their effectiveness. This preparatory phase is crucial for identifying the most vulnerable points and devising strategies to protect them, ultimately enhancing the overall security posture of the target system.